Am I the asshole? For telling my fiancé that my friend's trauma is more important than her comfort? My best friend lost a parent a year and a half ago which led him to a mental health crisis. Our friend group has been picking up the pieces ever since. He's doing much better now that he's in therapy, but he's definitely gone through it. What has complicated matters worse is my fiancé. It goes without saying that I love her, but she is the definition of a busybody sometimes. My best friend is a very private person. She knows something happened with him, but she doesn't know the details of what that something is. She probably never will. But because she's around me and my friends often as my fiancé and I live in the same house, she hears bits and pieces of the story and presses for more information. I try to circumvent this as best as I can for example, I step out of the room for specific phone conversations. But still, it's hard to limit the discussion about it sometimes. If it's necessary we bring it up and she's around in person, we refer to the Nolan situation without giving specifics. Nolan will also stop by my place at night when he can't sleep. This doesn't happen all that often maybe twice a month. He'll text me or call me saying he's outside, I'll go sit with him and maybe smoke a little bit, then he'll head home. I'll wait up until I know he got home safely, then I go back to sleep. My fiancé hates this. She claims the phone calls always wake her up they don't, she just sometimes happen to wake up for the bathroom while I'm outside and that me not being in bed is alarming. This brings us to last night. Nolan stopped by and when I came back inside, my fiancé said she was putting a stop to it. She said all the sneaking around is making her paranoid, she doesn't feel like she can properly trust me or be a part of my friend group without knowing the details, and that Nolan needs to stop relying on me so much. I told her that no matter whether we're married, dating, whatever, she will never have any ownership over my friend's trauma, and that she was never going to be able to order me around in regards to it. I also said her comfort was less important than someone's actual physical well-being. She was obviously hurt by this and went to stay with her mom after work today. Am I the asshole? Edit she knows Nolan lost a parent, she doesn't know the aftermath beyond the statement he had a mental health crisis. Yes, he has specifically asked me not to tell her. Edit 2 this is not something we talk about constantly in front of her. I'm giving examples that have happened over the past year and a half. Also, Nolan sees a therapist. He comes to my place to hang out. Info have you told Nolan about your current situation i.e. your fiancé can't handle the situation and is currently staying at her parents? Up info. So she know Nolan lost a parent. Why don't you explain some so she understands why you are helping him? Did everyone miss the fact that this had been going on for a year and a half? The poor woman has probably felt like she was back in middle school with all the code talking and secret meetings. You're the asshole it's one thing to want to respect your friend's privacy but when you're so involved that he's just showing up to the house you share unannounced, your fiancé deserves to know why. Info have you explained anything to her about the Nolan situation? Maybe just the broad strokes? Info did you ever explain the situation regarding his trauma and support needs in a broad strokes kind of way? So to be clear, you gave more information to internet strangers to determine whether you're the ass than you did to your fiancé. BC us knowing that information is important to being able to make a judgment. You're the asshole. I'd have said ESH if it didn't seem like this was something causing a real issue in your relationship that could be easily addressed by giving her a little more information. Leave her. I'll treat her better, heart. Info how many hours a week would you say you spend on the Nolan situation? How much time have you spent in the past year? Have you frequently cancelled plans with, or otherwise stopped an activity with your fiancé to support Nolan or discuss the situation with other friends? My guess is she would care much less if this wasn't having some kind of significant impact on your lives as a couple. Can I ask Nolan's sexual orientation and yours? Is he gay bi? Are you bi? Info can you share your age? 
Your uncompromising loyalty to your friend is admirable but it does sound like you may be a bit inexperienced. One thing almost all successful marriages have in common is a willingness to compromise. You can't behave the way you've been behaving and expect your soon-to-be wife to continuously roll over. I hope for both your sakes you choose to learn from your judgment in this thread. Info to the other people in this friends group have this issue with their partners? Do any of the other partners worry or ask questions about it, or just yours? Info how exactly is she a busybody? Has Nolan explicitly said he doesn't want her to know anything? Info have you asked Nolan if you could share his story with your fiancé? Erta. You and your friends stop talking when she walks in the room, and you walk out of the house at night. Those are not the way you treat the person you are going to marry. You're the asshole. you're the asshole. you're the asshole. You just told random people on Reddit more about your friend here than your fiancé. Can you and her and Nolan not just sit down and talk? You. Are. Going. To. Marry. Her. You can't just keep her out of huge important conversations that she's a part of and leave in the middle of the night. Come on man. This doesn't happen all that often maybe twice a month. This is a lot. I can't imagine my husband being so secretive about something like this for 18 months and not getting suspicious, no matter how much I trust him. It might be worth it for you to get some counseling of your own to figure out how to better support your friend without alienating your own loved ones. You're the asshole. This whole thing is so fucking weird. He lost a parent. It's sad. Most people will go through it. But this whole code red Nolan, private phone calls, and managing your friend like this 18 months later is insane and what is even going on? The enmeshment is next level. You're the asshole. My sympathy to Nolan, and I agree his requests for privacy and discretion should be respected. But you all are turning Nolan's grief into a circus and clique, so you can underscore your partner's personality as a busy body. Would you be okay with her doing this? You're handling this very weirdly. You're talking in front of your fiancé in code and sneaking around regularly in the middle of the night. I would also find this boundary crossing and concerning. Edit you're the asshole. You're the asshole and as a mental health provider you're further stigmatizing mental health by always hiding it. She knows he lost a parent. You can easily say he's been really struggling emotionally since then and you worry about his safety. It's true, doesn't share too much and explains the situation enough to ease her worries. Also I hope Nolan is getting professional help. Think about what you said as well. Her comfort is not as important as his comfort. In what universe is stopping by in the middle of the night twice a month not often? I'm not saying you have to share what he's going through, but the way you're handling this shows that you are absolutely not ready to get married.